Hello and welcome to video 5 of the Angles video series. In this video we're looking at rules for parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that uh, never meet. They stay the same distance apart. Think of them as a straight railway pair of railway tracks. Parallel lines never meet. And we indicate parallel lines by a couple of arrows on each of the lines and uh, if the arrows are there we are sure that they are definitely parallel lines. When two lines, when two parallel lines are cut by a third line we have a special name for it. We call it a transversal. So that uh, almost vertical line there is a transversal. It's the one that's cutting the other two parallel lines. And uh, when you think about it, when two parallel lines are cut by that third line, eight different angles are formed. And different pairs of those angles have different relationships and we're going to explore them in this video. We have corresponding angles. Now corresponding angles are equal. When things are corresponding they're kind of matching. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at the examples of corresponding angles. Now the angle that I've marked there is at the top left hand corner of the top intersection. And so there's a corresponding angle in the bottom intersection. That bottom uh, one right here is in the bottom, in, in the top left-hand corner of the uh, of the bottom intersection. So they're kind of in matching positions in the different intersections. So they're corresponding angles, and they are equal. There's several more examples of corresponding angles. Bottom left and bottom left. Uh, so they're corresponding, and they'll be equal to each other in parallel lines top right and top right they're corresponding they're in matching positions and they're equal in parallel lines and bottom right and bottom right in each of the intersections they are in corresponding or matching positions and they are equal to each other in parallel lines let's have a look at some more pairs alternate angles are equal now here's an example of alternate angles they're on alternate sides of the transversal here's our transversal down here and this is on the left hand side of the transversal, this one's on the right hand side of the transversal and you notice both angles are between the two parallel lines. So they're alternate angles and they're equal in size to each other when the lines are parallel. Uh, okay, so that's on one side of the, that's on the right hand side of the transversal, this is on the left hand side of the transversal and they're both between the two parallel lines. So they're our, another pair of alternate angles and they are equal to each other in size if the lines are parallel. Now here's a bit of a different one. This one's where we've called co-interior angles and they're supplementary. Now remember that supplementary means that the uh, the two or more angles add up to 180 degrees. Now what are the co-interior angles? Now we get a bit of a clue from the name here. Co kind of means we're working together. Smith and Co might be Smith and Company where people are working together in that company. Now what does the word interior mean? Interior means inside. An interior decorator uh, jazzies up the insides of a place. So an interior means inside. So we're looking for angles that are together inside a section of, uh, of the diagram. Let's have a look at which ones they might be. So we've got that one there. It's inside a little section. And we've got another angle inside that same section. So we'll think of the section as being this bit here, here, and here. They are, those two angles are together inside uh, this bit here. Those two angles are together inside. They're called co-interior angles and they are supplementary. Those two angles add up to 180 degrees. One might be 60, the other one might be 120, but we certainly know they add up to 180 degrees. Another uh, pair of uh, co-interior angles happen on the other side there. You've got that dot and those two markings there. Now in both cases I've put different markings to indicate the angles here because we're not saying that this blob and these two uh, curves here are the same, same size as each other so we won't be uh, typically um, drawing these with the same symbols as each other. If I put a blob there and a blob down here as well, I would be kind of hinting to students that I mean them to be the same size as each other, and that's not true in this case necessarily. 
So these, co these two angles will add up to 180 degrees, co-interior angles. Okay, now we were told in these, uh, these uh, <coughs> um, diagrams, we've, we've been given the symbols to prove that they are parallel. We're starting from a position where the lines are definitely parallel and we're making those uh, relationship uh, statements about it. But we can kind of turn this on its head and use those three um, pairs of relationships there uh, to prove that lines are parallel. So two lines are parallel if there's some corresponding angles that are equal to each other or if there's alternate angles that are equal to each other or if there's some co-interior angles that are supplementary adding up to 180 degrees. So if, if one of those three conditions uh, is, has been met uh, in a diagram, then we can uh, we prove that those two lines must be parallel in that diagram. Let's have a look at a bunch of examples. Okay, if we have 100 degrees in that top left hand corner and 97 degrees in that next corner, see this is in the top left hand corner, it's 100 degrees, this is in a corresponding position down here, but those two angles aren't the same size as each other. So we can't say that corresponding angles are equal there. So it's kind of failed the test for parallel lines. So we'd say no, those <coughs> these two lines aren't parallel here uh, because it didn't match that criteria. The pair of uh, angles didn't match the criteria. So on this right hand side we have a top right hand corner of uh, 82 and in this corresponding position on the one below it there uh, th that's 82 as well so they're in corresponding positions and they're equal to each other we're given the same size angle there so corresponding angles are equal and therefore we know that those uh, we can say yes uh, this line here and this line here are parallel because we've got corresponding angles that are equal to each other and so we can then go ahead and draw in our symbols, our two pairs of uh, arrows, uh, to indicate that we have proven that those two lines are parallel. So we've used that first test there, corresponding angles being equal, to decide whether there's parallel lines there or not. Sometimes they look parallel, but that's not good enough. We've got to match them up with one of these relationships. Okay, so we've got 76 degrees there and 76 degrees there. Can you remember what the relationship is between two angles that are on alternate sides of the, uh, I've given it away there, alternate sides of the transversal and between the two parallel lines? Yeah, they're alternate angles. And in this case, alternate angles are equal. So I think we're looking good here. It looks like uh, these two lines are parallel in this diagram because we've met that condition that alternate angles are equal and we can put the symbols in to prove that or to show that we've proved the parallel lines. In this bit we've got 100 degrees on the right hand side and 103 degrees on the left hand side so they're in alternate positions here but they're not equal so I don't think we've proven that those are parallel to each other. Alright now to use the third uh, of our tests for parallel lines, our, our proving conditions for parallel lines now, can you remember the relationship we told you about here? These are together inside here. We've got 110 degrees and 60 degrees. Now, do they add up to 180 degrees? They would need to for our lines to be parallel. No, they add up to 170 degrees. And so our co-interior angles, they're in a co-interior position, but they're not adding up to 180 degrees. So we'll have to say no there. Okay, on this right hand diagram we've got 80 degrees there and in a co-interior position there we've got something that is supplementary to it adding up to 180 degrees. So we've got this and this in co-interior positions and they are supplementary so they've passed that third test for parallel lines so we'll say yes uh, co-interior angles are supplementary in this right hand diagram and so we can, uh, we've, we've proved we're confident they're parallel and we can put those markings in. Uh, quite, quite a lot to take in there, but let's run through the rules that we just uh, talked about. When parallel lines are cut by a transversal, we have corresponding angles that are equal, we have alternate angles that are equal, and we have co-interior angles that are supplementary or adding up to 180 degrees. That's when we're told that the lines are 
are parallel, those three conditions apply. And we can turn this whole thing on its head and say, OK, um, if we want to check whether the lines are parallel, uh, two lines will be parallel if they meet these one of these three conditions. Corresponding angles are equal, or if alternate angles are equal, or if co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees, then uh, we, we can prove that two lines are parallel from the information we're given in the question. So that's quite a few new terms to, uh, to remember there. You'll have to get your mind around those. So watch the video over and over if you like and get used to those terms, corresponding, alternate and co-interior. Co You'll be asked to know all about that in some tests coming up soon, I'm sure. But I hope that helps a lot. And uh, as I said, watch it again and ask your local math teacher if you need some help. But uh, there you have it, parallel lines, rules for parallel lines, and uh, I guess it's a test for parallel lines as well that we learnt about there. In the next video we're going to have a look at problems, solving problems um, to do with uh, angles, so that should be interesting. So thanks a lot for watching. Now remember, whether it's angles or any other concept you'd like to learn more about and practice, uh, you can go to peterblakemaths.com and see plenty of great videos there to improve your skills. So see you next time for some uh, opportunities to solve angles problems.